camera boy here. Can't even see you. There you go. <laughs> That's your win, I think. There you go. I got Lopez, aka Humpty Dumpty. I forgot to. So my scanner was lying, I guess. Let me see what's good. Man, I got a bunch of phones here. One, two, three phones. Got Lopez over there. What's up? What's up? Chilling, you? Yeah. Chilling, you? How's your day going? It's going good. That's it. False alarm or what? Yeah, burglary alarm. Yeah, I heard that. I heard a call. You heard what? I heard a call. Oh, you did? Yeah, I went to call it. Okay. 30988. Yeah, it was like a bad address or something. Yeah, it was sending me all the way over there. Yeah, I don't think it was a good address, but. We, we fixed it. We knew where we were going. It's just, it's so you guys use a GPS or you, got, you know the streets already? Well, sometimes they'll give us a business name and we just obviously just know where the business is and stuff like that because some of these addresses are like old, like five digit address addresses yeah. for the county. Mm -hmm. And they haven't switched them over to the new like shafter addresses, which are like three or four digit ones. So oh, it happens. That's interesting to know. All right, man. Yeah, because I usually get wrong addresses sometimes. Uh, Cause I, I got stinger on my phone as well, uh -huh. and then sometimes you guys call the accidents or whatever's going on. Like last time, he told me um, it, the accident was over there by the uh, correctional thing, and, I, and it was marking it all the way over there by like the favorita or like fiesta uh -huh. latina and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Right on. All right, man. Take it easy, brother. You too, man. All right, man. Stay professional. All right, we'll see you. Too. All right. Yeah, uh, uh, I've been getting the wrong addresses here, so let me tell you. Yeah, Lopez is going to be part of it. That's it, you mean seriously? I'm going to go get my belt. I'm going to go get my belt. I'm going to go get my belt. Well, I show up in time just like them. I'm that bastard here. So. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna wait for them because then I'm gonna cross the street like this. I see no alley, man. So. Alright, Casey Camera Boy, that's it. Peace out. That's Casey Camera Boy. So, there was a call here on Cherry and Santa Fe. There is a. Nothing? We don't know where the. Whoever's calling, we're not sure where they're at. So, I And they were saying that white Chevy truck, no? Yeah. Hey, but that's crazy that county is allowing that, no? I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure what. I mean, I already took it to the city. I'll be honest. I talked to the mayor and I was like, hey, check it out. This is what's going on in Sherry and, and, and that street. And they're like, nah, you got to take it to the county because supposedly this is county already. Yeah, 
yeah, that's that's where we're. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where it's at or what what's going on yet. So we'll figure it out. But <laughs> I'm in shock because I I wouldn't imagine like maybe I'm close minded or too conservative, but I would never picture myself driving next to a hemp field, whatever they call it. I it's crazy, huh? I don't know if it's legal or not. I, to be honest, I mean the hemp. I'm not sure if they can grow it or not. I, I have no idea. Yeah, it's county. I, I've been trying to take it to the to the city of Bakersfield. I think I'm gonna take it next week. Cause I mean, as of, as far as I know, Kern County is a conservative state, uh, conservative uh, county. County. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to take it up with the. Oh, the trust me. I already took it to the city. Oh, and they're like, nah, like this has nothing. That has nothing to do with us. It has to be like city of bakersfield that's allowing this just like the homeless people they're trying to bring from bakersfield to here mm -hmm. that's probably what they're doing they're not trying to have that in bakersfield but they want to have it around us yep keep keep talking to the uh keep talking oh to trust the me I, I will take it up to them i mean <laughs> you, i, don't know I already you. did so yeah all right brother all right man stay safe all right we'll do all right see you around that's it that's crazy I was talking about guys this field here in Santa Fe and um, what's it called and cherry has marijuana has a devil the devil's lettuce planted check that out I already took this with the city and I told them about it, but they're blaming it on city of Bakersfield. Pretty much city of Bakersfield is throwing all this bunk over here. All this field is full of it. You guys can see at the end. But look at this. It says not trespassing. It does show hemp. Or hemp. Excuse my accent. No THC. I mean, but CBD is still same stuff. What they're trying to do with these robes, clothing. I mean, it smells like marijuana. I ain't gonna lie. So I guess those over there are way bigger than the ones here in the back, in the front. You can tell people have been cutting them off. But anyways, tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm close-minded or what. But I don't think this should be allowed here. How come Cedar Bakersfield doesn't have it in the downtown Bakersfield? They should allow this in downtown Bakersfield. I'm not, not here in Shafter. I talked to Mayor Alvarado. I talked to uh, Mayor Pro Term Lopez. And they said not to know anything about this. I mean, they heard about it. But they know nothing about this. Who gave the permits on this. Well, I'll leave it up to you guys. As I said, this is a conservative county. And people who are conservative, they're not allowed this type of things. I mean, I didn't picture myself driving next to a marijuana or a hemp field. <laughs> I don't know. As I, I, I said, I'm going to be close-minded. 9.9% of people that I know that smoke weed, they don't have a medical condition. They're like, oh, I have problems sleeping. Well, you can try therapy. There are plenty of things that you can try before getting to the point of smoking weed. So, and then the doctors that give you that recommendation, there are some Indian doctors that you see them on the screen and they're like across the the other side of the, uh, the, uh, the United States and they approve you. All you gotta make up is an excuse like, I can't sleep, I got pain, I got arthritis. I guess, I mean, there are, as I said, there are other solutions. There, there are other type of remedies. And stuff like this. Until you want to get to this point, but I mean. People make up excuses that they're sick, this and that. It takes away my pain, it doesn't. Don't freaking lie. People want to lie to me and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Nobody likes to Casey camera boy. I always get that truth. Hmm, hmm. Look at that. Fat mouse right there. 
Well, I leave it up to you guys. Leave it in the comments, please. Let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get smacked out of this. So. so, I'm assuming that's the people that take care of this field. Including the other house over there. So, yeah. Stay safe. Stay professional, people. If you smoke, don't drive. Because still, still consider a DUI in Kern County. We get a chatty for that. That's all. He wanted to pull up. But he knows I'm just doing a report on this, nothing else. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, it's gonna flip it now. Oh, let me get my live stream ready. Let me get my live stream ready. <laughs>